Hello, Algebrites. 13? Here. So let's take a look at it. So, number 13. Let A be an event. If the probability of A is 90% or 0.9, and there are 460 equally likely outcomes in the sample space, how many outcomes are in A? So, pretty much all we're doing here is a proportion because what we have is the probability of A is 90% or 0.9 of the total 1 or 100%. So that just means we need to know how many are in the number of, this, of A outcomes. And here the total is 460. So essentially all we're doing is multiplying 460 by 0.9. And the answer, of course, is that the number of outcomes of A is going to be 414. So that's number 13. Number 14, let's look at that. A whole number between 1 and 366 inclusive. So that means including 1 and 366. is chosen at random. Find the probability of each event that the number is divisible by 5. So at first, if we got, if we're struggling with this, then instead of trying to count all the numbers that are divisible by 5 between 0 and 366, let's try something between 1 and 16. Well, where's a 5, there's a 10, and there's a 15. So notice if I were to take the 16 and divide it by 5, I get 3 with some remainder. Well, there we go. 1, 2, 3. So we tried it with a smaller sample space, so that means we can extend it to here as well. So let's just uh, attack that and say, well, let's just do this. 366 divided by 5 gives you 73 with the remainder. To do is say that the probability of divisible by 5 is going to be the 73 divided by 366. And you can plug that into your calculator to get an approximate value of percent. Now once we've done that for A, then you just repeat that process for B. Thank you very much and keep the questions coming.